So I think my dad might have made the worst trade in automotive history. He traded a 1956 Chevy truck for a 1968 Firebird. Here's the catch. He doesn't like Firebirds or muscle cars at all. Let's check it out. So my dad called me about a week ago and he said, hey, I think I'm gonna trade my truck. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, what are you gonna do with it? He said, I think I'm gonna trade it for a Firebird. I said, a what year Firebird, you know, what are you talking about? He said, it's a 68. I said, do you like 68 Firebirds? He goes, oh no, I hate them. I said, does mom like 68 Firebirds? He goes, nah, she doesn't like them. She hates them more than me. I said, well, what the hell are you doing then? He goes, well, it's Bill's. Bill is a family friend, we've known him longer than I've been born, dad's known him. Uh, he's a real cool guy. He said, Bill loves a truck. I think Bill likes the truck more than I do. So I think we should trade. I haven't seen this Firebird in like 10 years. I don't know. I told him, I said, I probably wouldn't do it. You know, I don't know. He said, ah, you know, it'll be good. And we'll just, we'll fix it up and we'll sell it. I said, okay, well, you're gonna go with me and we're gonna go look at it together. We're gonna grab it, bring it into this shop because I currently have an open spot. The International is gone and uh, we're gonna bring it in here. We'll take a look at it, see what the story is. Let's check it out. <laughs> the Firebird is in his house. It's still on a trailer. Uh, our buddy Bill is who we did the trade with and he just let him have his trailer. So it's still on a trailer. Also gonna ask him, you know, on camera while we're unloading it, you know, what his thought process was, what his plans are with it, what he wants to do. And uh, we'll just see what he says. decided we can't get in and out of it very good so we gotta fix that here, son. <laughs> yeah here, let me show you i think i think bill bill's about five six and i think maybe i don't know if that's where the stock seat is or if me and you are just too big but i i can't get my leg in there very good and he's four inches taller than me so yeah i don't know maybe we just need to adjust it i don't know but yeah all right he's gone let's take a look at this thing I absolutely love it. We do have some issues though. Me and dad don't fit in the goddamn thing. <laughs> I feel like there's no way that seat is supposed to be up that high. It should go back a bunch. So maybe something's stuck in the track. Maybe it's not put where it's supposed to be. I feel like that should go back a ton. I'm 6'1". I'm not huge. Dad is like 6'5". He really couldn't get in the damn thing. I jumped in it off the trailer to hit the brakes, and I almost got stuck trying to hit the brakes. So we need to work on that. I don't know. It's probably fine for most people, but I'll end up fixing it because I don't like it. Here we have the radiator and extra parts, the exhaust, all that fun stuff. There is actually... I think dad said two boxes of parts that Bill still has. He has the rear seat, but it's not covered. I think he has the rear door panels. He basically has all that. It's just not restored or it's not recovered rather. The good news is it's not going to take much. We just need to get the radiator mounted. We need to get the power steering pump mounted. It needs to hook up your, I can't remember what they call those, your TV cable, I think, for the transmission. Just stuff like that needs to be hooked up. The drive shaft is three inches too short, but... The good news there is this is still the right yoke. The yoke should still work and the rear U-joint should still work. So we got the right parts. It just needs to be three inches longer. Uh, there's a drive shaft shop about, 
I don't know, three blocks away from me right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, put it up under there, double check that it's exactly three inches, and we'll probably drop that off at the drive shaft shop, have them make a new drive shaft, order a couple parts for it, and I think I'm gonna go ahead, finish it up for him, take it for a little spin, see what it is. This should be, I mean, I should be able to knock this thing out in just a couple weeks, just because it's not needing much. He'll probably work on it some too as well, but uh, I don't know what the hell we're gonna do with it. We might do a giveaway. Uh, if you guys are down, let me know. Uh, he, if he doesn't do a giveaway, he's going to sell it outright because, like I said, he doesn't even like muscle cars, which is why this trade is kind of weird. <laughs> when he first asked me, I was like, what are you talking about? I do want to get it running. I do want to get it driving. First thing I'm going to do, since we already got it here and I got a couple hours left in the day before this video needs to go out, I'm going to get it up on jack stands and we're going to see how short our drive shaft is. I was not expecting the drive shaft to actually go in there. <laughs> you know, it, it's actually in, but naturally you can't, you know, your yoke can't stick out that far. Yeah, I was not expecting that at all. I figured if it was three inches off, it was not even close. It's definitely not three inches, it's about two inches. So we need a two inch longer drive shaft. Well, you might even go a little bit less. Nah, two inches is probably fine. We need a two inch drive, two inch longer drive shaft. I was totally not expecting it to actually, you know, work out, but that's easy. Look how solid this thing is under here too. Really nice car. All right, check it out. So these brackets are for big block, so they don't really fit the small block, but I did get one bolt started in there. And now what I can do is mark where I need to drill my hole in that bracket. So I'll have two bolts in that bracket, which will be plenty for the power steering. But the reason I wanted to bolt it up before I drill the holes, I wanna make sure all this looks square and I think it'll be okay. It needs bent a little bit, but it's definitely gonna be all right, which is nice. So. Basically got the drive shaft figured out. We got the power steering pump figured out. We need to figure out the radiator now. I'm running out of time for today, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw the radiator in there. We'll see what we need to do with it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really wasn't on board <laughs> when I first heard about the trade. I thought he was a crazy person. I personally like, you know, 50s trucks more than muscle cars, but this thing is pretty damn nice and I like it. I'm getting excited about getting it finished. We should be able to knock this thing out in like a week. So hopefully the next video is maybe a part two of this one where we can kind of knock some of this stuff out. And worst come to worst, I guarantee it'll be done the week after that. Let me take it around the block. I want to fire it up, have some fun with it. I actually heard it run at his house. It runs okay. Uh, obviously it needs a bunch of stuff hooked up to it still, but it's a pretty straight old girl and I think it's going to be a ton of fun to work on. Let me know what you guys think. Was well, this a good trade? Is he an idiot? And I am, am I an idiot? Usually the answer to that is yes, I'll tell you that right now. But let me know what you guys think. Should we do a giveaway? You know, what, what's the plan? You guys let me know and we will do whatever you want to do. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff they tell you at the end of the videos and check out some more of my other videos. Peace. I love you. I'm